<clears throat> I don't expect anybody to show up now. Um, apparently, we have a storm that just rolled in and it knocked out my internet for a second. So, the joys of living in the booms. Anyway, uh, yeah, so no one's here now. <laughs> Very, very smooth running little machine. <clears throat> I'm going to pop the camera off so I can actually weld to uh, <laughs> to my full ability for a second. The camera does make it quite awkward. Let's see. Yeah, that's cooled back off. Let's, uh, yeah, I'll leave you guys there. I don't know if you guys can see that on the uh, or hear that on the camera, but the taper off on this machine is a lot smoother as well. Um, just overall, this machine is way smoother. Um, man, I wish I had this thing a couple years ago. Yeah, on the DC side, oh, no audio. Um, no audio. Of course, I got to come back. Okay. I was going to say, of course, I come back and there's all sorts of problems. Oh, man. Oh. So, yeah, that's... Uh... That old girl's going to be pretty hot. Real smooth. I was a little bit cold on that run. I probably could have bumped up another oh, 10 or 15 amps just having that weld on the backside. It uh, cooled off on me a little bit on the amperage. So, Joshua, what we are running tonight is our prototype Typhoon 230. Um, so it's a prototype machine. We're looking at probably another two, two and a half months before it's available. Um, just giving you guys a real quick run through. Uh, not super in depth, just kind of showing the uh, early performance of the machine tonight. So I've got some uh, medical issues that are keeping me from wanting to be sitting for too long. Um, but let's run a couple more beads and then I'll get out of here. Whoa. Table shifted. 
I'm going to change the angle of this uh, arc shot cam just a bit. So bear with me for a second, guys. I can get yeah we'll try that uh, Josh this machine is uh, stick and TIG mainly TIG but it will run 6010 which I will show at a later time My torch angle's a little off here, just a, the position I've got the camera in now. And my hand position is way off. So there we go. That was a really nice taper. So if you guys are used to running the EXT, um, I mean, it tapers off pretty well. I mean, it's not too bad, but you can obviously tell that uh, even without it quite adjusted the way I would like to have it, that this machine tapers off really, really, really well um, on AC. On DC, I saw there was a, someone asked a question about DC. Uh, this thing is a running son of a gun on DC too. I mean, it's not too hard to make a good DC welder. Um, but this thing on DC, the starts are super, super crisp and we don't even have those dialed in exactly the way we want them yet, but, uh, leaps and bounds. I mean, uh, leaps and bounds better than the, uh, the XD. Um, so anyway, there we go. A uh, nice little run through on my, on my, 20 or flat point pencils for the company for aluminum. So you're talking what size tungsten are you running there? Cala formula. If you're running um you know a smaller tungsten like a 330 seconds or even like a, a 16 330 seconds. So yeah, I could see with a 330 second it would probably work a little bit better. Um I'm running eighth inch, that's all I run on aluminum, even doing like uh oh oh doing you know, cans like this on the on the side. I did that with the eighth inch tungsten. So I run eighth inch tungsten on aluminum um, <clears throat> pretty much exclusively. And so having a point on an eighth inch tungsten helps a lot uh, just because it it can carry so much more amperage. It can be a little harder to start. For 330 seconds, I can see, um, you know, it just depends on what's going on. If I don't know if that, I'm not real familiar with that machine, but if it has a start amp setting, you might look at lowering your start amp so it's not blowing, trying to blow the tip of the tungsten off, if that's what you're meaning um, about running a flat tungsten. Um, if it's blowing the tip off, you might have your start amp set just way super high. Um, if, it's, if it's also not arcing up very well, you might have them set real super low. And sometimes if they're set real low, that, that arc will dance around. So you've got that point, it'll dance around a little bit on you. So you might try seeing where your start amps are at on that machine. And uh, for 330 second tungsten, I'd recommend going like a 40 amp start. 35, 40 amp start is pretty good. So anyway, yeah, nice little run through on the, uh, the new Typhoon. Um, we'll be releasing some more information on it as we get closer to uh, releasing the machine. 
<clears throat> it is available on the website for pre-order um, if you guys want to check it out. Um, some of the preliminary specifications are listed on there. Um, they are going to change a little bit as we get the thing more dialed in. Um, but what's listed is going to be the minimum. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, yeah. Real short show tonight, guys. Uh, next week I should be feeling better and we're going to get um, I'm going to move the camera gear out like I've talked about in the past and show you guys some out of position stuff on this truck chassis I have in the shop. Um, from there, we've got a, a split bumper Camaro that I'm doing. Uh, it's got a, a 454 LSX in it. Um, it's naturally aspirated now, but we're going to do a full hot side, cold side twin turbo setup on it. Um, so I'll probably feature that a lot here in the coming weeks, but, uh, yeah, next week, let's do some tube work. We'll do some out-of-position stuff. Um, I do have a new product um, from an up, upstart company to test out. It's a variable amperage control finger switch. So I'll try that. Uh, <clears throat> probably try that this weekend. And then if I like that, I'll show that to you guys uh, next week for doing that tube work. But we'll do some 2T. Um, some 2T stuff on that cage using the finger switch. I'll do some uh, out of position work using the pedal with my knees, kind of show you guys some positioning stuff. Um, so Josh, right now, the Typhoon is, the Typhoon is gonna be about double what the EXT is. So the 210 EXT is coming in, I think retail 1700. We've got the 210 on the website now for like 1560 or 1570. The Typhoon 230 is going to start at 3,500. Um, there is a lot of engineering work that we've put into this thing. Um, just from me personally, I've got hundreds of hours of, uh, of work in this machine. Uh, we've got a bunch of new hardware in it, a bunch of new programming. Uh, we pretty much started from the ground up on the programming. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a whole new platform. So if you're looking for something quick within the next, uh, you know, four months, I would say I would, I would stick to the EXT. Um, if you're, you know, trying to save some money up for a new machine and you know, you're going to be, you know, three, four months out, then, you know, maybe consider the Typhoon. The Typhoon though, it's going to be, um, we've made it as user friendly as possible. There's only going to be one hidden menu and that's going to be on some tungsten um, selection some very, very high level um, settings adjustment. Um, that'll be on a hidden menu. That'll also, <clears throat> that's gonna be for some really high level like start amps in like milliseconds, surge amps, and then downslope to your, your start amp, which is, this is way super technical stuff. But uh, <clears throat> right now I'd stick, if, you're, if you want a machine for right now, get an EXT, especially Black Friday. We're running 25% off on pretty much everything on the website. So if you're in the market for a new machine, uh, still jump on an EXT. The Typhoons are going to be a ways out still. Um, and even the 325 and 450 models, we're probably looking mid-23 uh, mid to release those. So there's still still a long time off. But, you know, just want to get you guys interested in them, start getting some buzz about them. Uh, anyway, if that's it, then... Adios. Uh, again, everybody that dropped by at Fabtech, man, I had a blast talking to everybody. Uh, could not believe how many people uh, recognized me. That was uh, very humbling. So I appreciate everybody that dropped by. I uh, appreciate everybody's support. Um, had a lot of really good comments about uh, the ads that we've been running on, on Facebook lately. If you haven't seen those, then uh, try to check those out. They might give you a little bit of a laugh. Um, so hopefully you can take a joke if you watch them anyway, see you guys next week. I'll be feeling better. Hopefully my voice will sound better and, uh, I'll be able to show you guys some really, you know, really trick out of position stuff. Have a good one guys. Appreciate it.